What is going on, my Atomic Cycle Work friends? So I want to do a quick video and just tell you a little bit about gel, when to use it, when not to use it, and just a little bit about it. We've done videos in the past about using gel, and this one, I, this seat here, I felt was a good example to use because the rider came in and she wanted gel in her seat. So now I explained that when you're sculpting a seat and have one custom made to fit you, a lot of times you don't need gel because we're going to form it exactly to your body and profile. This will make sure that your seating surface is actually pretty much touching and encompassing your entire butt area. So sometimes what happens and the reason people would use gel in the past is if you have a seat that you don't want to modify the shape, you don't want to change the seat cover and you ride it and you have butt cheeks that are sore bones, like cheek sore cheek bones or a burning sensation from um, foam vibration, that's when you would use a gel. And we only use orthopedic gels just because of the biker gels and all that other stuff is just soft gooey stuff that doesn't do anything. The orthopedic gel is a firm gel that's actually made specifically for like people who spend their entire lives in a wheelchair. So it has the best technology and best research involved in making that. And what it does is it just makes it the ride last a little longer. So if you normally have a sore cheekbone, you might feel that in like 20 minutes, 15 minutes or whatever. With the gel, sometimes you can ride for hours and hours and hours and not feel anything because it absorbs a lot of that pressure. It's not gonna solve all the problems because you really do need to dial that seat in then have that shape fit your profile specifically. You know, it's kind of funny because we actually used gel for a lot of years and you know, it was probably like, I would say 70% of the people in that area liked it and then 30% didn't like it because it really didn't fit what they needed. Um, it wasn't until actually we were designing seats for Mustang seats and I was talking to Al, the old previous owner, and he said they don't use any gel in any of their seats. And he says, cause they sculpt it and he says a really good fitting seat is comfortable, which is 100% true. However, if you buy a seat, out of the box and it doesn't fit you it's never going to get better so that's the application sometimes we would use gel and we only use gel for sore cheekbones and butt burning and that's it normally we try to re-sculpt the, the seat in shape uh, into your shape for best comfort so hopefully that clarifies it and like you can see here this one actually we cut out just like we would normally put a gel insert in here but we're putting a foam insert because when she sat on the gel and then sat on the foam she's like wow the foam is a lot better a lot more comfortable and we offer lifetime warranties with our seats so if we tell you don't put the gel in and you don't and you um, need it you just pay for the materials we eat the labor and we'll put it back together or vice versa if you put the gel in you don't like it we could take it out put foam in there pay for materials we eat the labor as long as you have one of our seats for life if we have to modify it so much that you need a seat cover and change the shape of it then there is a fee for that because it's not doesn't cover like a brand new full seat with new foam and everything so hopefully that helps out a little bit with gel and what we have to go through every day and the reasons why we use it and don't use it. Okay.